The Simbukanum people of Madang province in Papua New Guinea are taking control of their forests and their future. For seven years, the people allowed a big logging company to operate on their lands. Over this time, it became clear the damage to their land, water supplies and culture far outweighed the benefits to the community. So they decided they didn't want the logging company on their lands anymore. I mean, trying to pull the logs out, you know, they were uh, spoiling our la uh, land, turning it into a swamp and muddy. So, you know, our flat, fertile land, it was uh, being disturbed and we can't make gardens out of it. Our pastoral rivers, they too, it was being, uh, they used it to wash the machines and, you know, the waste of the machines like grease and oil, they were uh, flowing into our river, rivers and was polluting the rivers and our fish and fresh water prawns, they were dying. When the community decided they didn't want the logging company on their land, Cornelius Banas and Joseph Yarl led a big group of villagers on the blockade. They blocked the only road into the area and told the loggers they were no longer welcome. Cornelius, in the blue shirt, used to work for the company. He says he was getting paid 40 toya an hour. That's about 20 cents for an hour's work. Joseph says the loggers offered bribes to the villagers, trying to get them to lift the blockade. But the people stood firm. In 2003, the community decided to protect a thousand hectares of unlogged land as a conservation area. Seven years of industrial logging had damaged their land, and now they wanted to preserve their forests for their children and grandchildren. They set firm rules around what could and couldn't be done within the protected zone, and they established a governance committee to make sure the rules were observed. No resource extraction or felling of trees is allowed in the conservation area. And the rules are taken very seriously. Five years on, the people have seen their forests come back to life. Landowner Alfred Cuckett says cassowaries and bushfowl are again breeding in the rainforest, and fish have returned to their rivers. When the company was here, all our birds and animals, they've gone. You know, for the, they don't want a noise of their chainsaw, bulldozers. But after five years of, uh, during this five years conservation, we really see that the value of the uh, conservation. We, so our pasture and rivers, we have a lot of hills, fresh water prawns. The local people now earn cash income farming cocoa, copra, vanilla, and other crops on their land outside the conservation zone. This year, the price of cocoa hit an all-time high of $3,000 US per tonne. Unlike oil palm, which is grown in giant monoculture plantations. These crops can be grown in village gardens, in amongst traditional food plants like coconut, banana, pawpaw and taro. Now, thanks to the leadership of Alfred Cuckett and with the help of local conservation organisation called the Bismarck Rangu Group, several neighbouring clans are adding their lands to the conservation zone. The total protected area is now just under 2,000 hectares. The Australian Conservation Foundation works in partnership with a number of community groups and non-government organisations in Papua New Guinea, supporting ecologically and culturally appropriate development. Lee Tan is the head of ACF's Asia-Pacific unit. She believes the renewal of the conservation deed at Simbukanam will inspire other communities in PNG to protect their forests. Now, people in Simbukanam in Gildipasi are now coming out with a different kind of development that's defined by them, that they're in control with, um, that is happening in their own pace. For a country like Papua New Guinea, where most of the story we heard is about rainforest destruction, about logging, about clearing a forest, it is a very inspiring and wonderful occasion that we've seen. Uh, not only we are seeing clan groups from the local community attending, but we are also seeing other people men, women, children, all joining together in a very happy occasion and very proud moment to celebrate the renewal. Uh, most importantly, what we've seen is five new clans joined in um, because they have seen the benefit of forest protection in, uh, for the Simbukanam in the last five years.